In today's lesson, we are talking about a variety of different kinds of racket skills. And the reason that we just call them racket skills is because there's a difference between different rackets that you can use. You have more of a ping pong paddle, right? So a paddle that has a solid surface. You have a tennis racket type. You have a badminton type. Um, and then just a smaller kind of net version. So this is kind of the one that I brought home when I was able to kind of pick up some things from school, um, which is a, a netted, so you need something that's light. So if you have something that you can um, either use if you have a tennis racket or a badminton type at home, uh, just realize that the smaller the surface, uh, the lighter the kind of item that you need to use. So either that you know paper ball that we had you create at home if you needed to. Um, I've also uh, kind of figured out that if you use a really nice kind of firm uh, paper plate and just attach something, uh, if you have a ruler that you can use, a wooden one uh, that would give you a little bit of that length, right, and a little bit of uh, stability. Um, if you have a little bit of a smaller paper plate, then you might use uh, the back of a paper towel roll. I would flatten it down to kind of create a little bit more um, sturdiness to it, maybe tape it so that it provides a little bit of that um, sturdiness to where when you use it as a handle, it doesn't bend um, and collapse on you or maybe even a firm uh, water bottle of some sort. So not one of those that crinkles up real good, but a different kind of, you know, empty bottle that you can collapse into that and uh, attach to that and use as a handle. So I've seen to where those uh, can be made from home as well. But you can use uh, to hit some sort of a light wiffle ball back and forth or if you did make that paper ball to get those racket skills. Uh, so what I'm just going to kind of demonstrate is a few of those ideas and concepts. Obviously you can create your own game um, back and forth, practice hitting uh, that underhanded stroke which we'll talk about that overhanded stroke, forehands and backhands. Um, if you have a more paddle style you can then use a tennis ball of sorts. Um, if you have a garage outside it's a great way to get those racket skills in to hit that ball off of a brick wall you know on the side of your you know house or um, apartment building if you're able to kind of go out to the side there and, and hit that up against a wall um, but then you can also practice the things where you are by yourself um, and just working on that hand-eye coordination so again families we're just looking for some of those different types of racket skills today uh, students what we've talked about before in class is how to hold that racket so when the racket is straight up and down in this format again it's going to be almost like you're and we call it shaking hands with that racket so in between my thumb and my pointer finger here i'm going to be placing that portion of it on top of the racket as if I'm kind of shaking hands with that racket and then my fingers are just going to nicely curl underneath. Again, I'm not gripping it. Okay, It's just a nice little hold so that I have a lot of wrist flick action when I am doing the swinging, right, and when I'm going into that. And again, there's different styles with that as the different rackets that you may use. The smaller the type of racket, the more I'm kind of having that full armed, you know, push um, of sorts and so and then if I'm really trying to get an attack purposes then I've got that nice strong wrist um, action going in there as well so just some of those things that you can do I brought to where you know you can have different um, birdie styles right so there's the smaller one a little larger one if I'm just beginning with some of those hand-eye coordination things so I'm going to use this smaller one here so again once I've got my grip some things that I can do at home is just seeing how many times can I keep that birdie or that tennis ball or that paper ball in the air, right? So I'm just trying to watch that spin, trying to keep it up in the air, right? Then I can kind of get to some of those little trickier styles where I'm backhanding up, up you know, forehanding, backhanding, and kind of flipping it as I go as a skill as well. I can also try to do the around the backs. I can try to hit it underneath my leg. Okay, so just some of those different styles. Now, 
If you have something that will bounce back to you, then like I said, if you can find a solid wall, maybe not inside your house if your parents don't want you doing that inside your house, but if you have a type of ball, a racquetball, or something of that nature that can kind of bounce back to you, then I suggest that you kind of get that those repetitions in too, because then you can get a little bit of speed coming back to you and really try to practice. So those four-handed, I'm gonna take a step with that opposite foot, and I'm using more of now my shoulder into my elbow, okay? I'm bending those legs and I'm trying to get that forehand swing into that. Same thing with that backhand. I'm gonna take a step and now I am trying to get that backhand motion, okay? Going back to the wall as that whatever type of ball you're using is coming back off the wall. For those overhands, okay? So I'm finding that guide as I come through and I make contact, my arm is gonna be just kind of in front of my ear here because I'm trying to send whatever it is, that birdie, that ball, back down towards the ground at an angle to make it a little bit more difficult for my opponent. And those underhanded swings, remember, we are taking a step with that opposite foot, we're getting that hip out of the way, almost like when we talked about rolling the ball, okay? So those underhanded swings are going to be this direction. Those, those are um, you know, more into that tennis style, a little bit into that badminton style, if you can play that as well. Um, super fun games. So just some creativities with setting up courts. You, know, you can kind of have a section um, out in your backyard or you know, front yard or a yard that's off to the side of the place in which you're staying uh, and you know put down some uh, chalk lines you can put down some circles you can put down some rings um, if you have some sort of marker system uh, meaning like a, not don't you know if you have some sort of thing that can be like a cone to set up kind of a four corners section for you um, then there's a great game that you can look up called Speed Mitten, um, and it's awesome. So really you can take that game anywhere. You don't have to have a net, uh, you don't have to have anything of that nature. However, I've also seen to where you can set up kind of maybe two outdoor chairs and put a jump rope across, right? Or maybe even hang a couple of, you know, tie a couple of towels together, um, and that can be kind of a, a little net system for you to set up on your own as well. So just some ideas for you to get some rocket skills in for today. Hopefully it's a great day outside and you can get out today, okay? Hope you have a great week, Bobcats.